So far we're about two-thirds away from the complete functionality we want from our current implementation, right? What happens here is when I click on this thing once, all of the, the, the dictionary list items they show, but when I click on it again they don't go back and hide, and that's what I'm trying to get done over here, right? So we've we have we we hide it we hide the dictionary list at the beginning then we say that once an event the click event happens um, we want to fade in the the DL the dictionary list so now it seems kinda complicated because what we're we gonna do we're gonna add another click event that says every time it you click it the second time it's going to unexpand or or maybe we do if if it's clicked on and and the DL is shown then hide it that sounds a bit complicated and you know what it's doesn't actually sound a bit complicated it is complicated because that's that's a lot of logic you got to put in there so i have an alternative why don't we use jquery's toggle function See, th that's the whole beauty of this uh, JavaScript framework. They took care of all that thinking for us, right? Because that's exactly what the toggle function needs to do. When the user, if this thing has been clicked on once, then, and it's clicked on again, you need to do something else. And that's, that's a lot. That's a lot to do for any, any time you want to set this up. But good old jQuery to the rescue. We'll just use the old toggle function. And then when I save it, let's see what happens. Let me give this a refresh. Now I click on it once, it expands. I click on it again, it collapses. I mean, the case expands and collapses. When I, you know you show and hide it, you know, that was pretty easy to get that. But we're not quite where we want to be, because this has obviously a different kind of flow to it. So, like I I mentioned this earlier. When a function does sort of what you want it to do, investigate what options it has inside of it so you could tweak it to exactly what you want. So what I googled, I googled jQuery toggle options. And when I did that, one of the first, one of the second hit rather, the first hit was from the jQuery API, which has a, a little bit more of the... Um, technical description of what's going on and but it's great I mean if you, you know how to go through it you should do it. it has some great examples but there's also another one that says the in the UI effects one still at jQuery.com but this tells me exactly some of the options I have inside and how I could use toggle see toggle has some you get pretty sophisticated with what it could do but I just want something simple I want it to I want an effect and one of the effects that it has is slide so guess what it's as simple as me going inside of toggle and inside of there putting in the argument slide right so far my syntax is good I'm gonna save it and now when I return to my page and I refresh it slides right in slides back out 